We're going to do some gaming discussions right now. We're going to start with, uh, we're going to start with, you know what? Let's get on Sony more, guys. Let's get on Sony more. <clears throat> You know, it's it's been an entire 24 hours since I shit on Sony. We need more. Am I right or am I right? Well, guys, it has been an entire day since we talked about Sony. And they just cannot stop taking L's. So let us discuss what happened today. Uh, th I want you guys to keep in mind that when I talked about the Sony PlayStation Network debacle... It was for a reason. It was for many reasons. It was for the fact that it is useless to have every single game connected to the PlayStation Network. It is also because the PlayStation Network is inherently unstable. It is also because the PlayStation Network um, has it leaks like a sieve. They get hacked all the time. All the time. But it is also for the fact that anytime the PlayStation Network goes down, you can't play your goddamn fucking games. And that is what happened today. The PlayStation Network went down. Uh, it was currently, I don't know if it's still down, but uh, it was down for several hours. And um, it, it is insane because, like, dude, it, when the PlayStation Network goes, goes down, every single game is connected to it, including single-player games. So no one can do anything. No one can do anything with the game. Uh, no one can play any of the single-player games. God of War, Ghost of Tsushima, you know, all of these traditional single-player games. Just, you can't even play. It is so stupid, it is so beyond idiotic, and uh, this is this is why you should not bend over backwards to defend Sony when they have uh, a requirement to have Sony PlayStation Network connected to every single game and a requirement for even single player games. And that is not even to include the fact that Sony PlayStation Network cannot even be used or operated or connected to in over a hundred and eighty hundred and eighty different uh countries and regions that is most of the world most of the world can't even use these games can't connect to these games can't even play these games because of this arbitrary and bs useless requirement so i wanted to cover that news uh let's see what the people think all these people saying that Xbox is better while I'm over here on my PC not getting scammed to play online. Exactly. On the PC, you don't have to play single-player games online. You can play them offline easily. Easily. Uh, we got some silly memes going on. Uh, PlayStation users right now. Yep. Uh, okay. Everyone is talking about hitting the blunt. Well, I am finished. Uh, just wanted to finish Wukong. Yeah. Well, guess what? Wukong is a single-player game. So the fact that you can't play Wukong because of the Sony PlayStation Network being down, is insanity, bro. Is insanity. Uh, this guy is missing the, the, the rub. It doesn't matter if you're subscribed to PlayStation or not. You just can't play their single-player games. It's so beyond idiotic, man. And this is why no... None of these networks, none, none of these networks, whether it's Nintendo uh, Switch Online, whether it's PlayStation Network, whether it's Xbox, none of these things should be required for single-player games. It is so, so erratic, so, so idiotic, and uh, it's just useless. It's just useless. Anyways, what do you guys think? In the comments below, let me know. Uh, everyone is losing their shit online, uh, and uh, I would love to hear what your thoughts are. Do you think the Sony PlayStation Network is still not a big deal? If you're a Sony user, and you love Sony, and you defend Sony PlayStation Network all the time, like a lot of Sony users do, uh, guys, please let me know. How do you feel now? Now that when you can't even play a single player game and you're, when your PlayStation Network is down, how do you feel, guys? How do you feel? Let me know. Can't wait to see you. Can't wait to hear from you in the comments below. And regardless, I will see you in the next video. By the way, I'm not shitting on you guys. I'm shitting on Sony for doing it. If you want better, expect better. And if you expect better, tell Sony you expect better. When you hit their pocketbook with these things, they will absolutely listen because they have no choice in the matter. So do keep that in mind. Do keep that in mind. Uh, there seriously needs to be a backup licenses loaded into a secure location on the system. Um, I mean, 
There should be. Yeah. Yeah, there should be. But, you know, this is a, this is an age where Sony is leagues behind every single other game company when it comes to these online um, stores and stuff. Like, it's so funny because we have, we have like, touched upon the news uh, where, um, for example, 2K Games have given up on their online live service and they decided to drop their online live service and not even require sign-ins for uh, the Civ games. Uh, not even require, um, you know, their their uh, online uh, uh, requirements for Civ 7. They've already stated. You don't have to log into 2K games. You can just play the game. Uh, there's there's all kinds of other game companies. Uh, all, the, all the Ubisoft games are giving up on their online stuff. And uh, they're just saying that, you know what? If you want to play on Steam, you can play on Steam. Everything is just like, you know what? You can just play on Steam. Whatever. We don't care anymore. And Sony is like the only one where it's just like, even on PC, they're like, yeah, you're going to have to log in to, to our PlayStation Network so our line goes up. And shut the fuck up, Sony. Shut the fuck up, Sony. Your age is behind. You're a fucking dinosaur at this point. Get the fuck out of here. They've already wasted a billion dollars, and they're going to be wasting more money. There you go, buddy. There you go. I just wanted to give it to you straight. I'll always tell you the authentic take, all the information that I possibly can about a certain subject, even including something as silly as this. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And I uh, would love to hear from you soon. There you go. See you in the next video. Before I crash out. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah. The, the only good thing is from the memes. There's a lot of silly memes coming out.